Pastor Chris. We're hearing. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Can you read it for me? One, two, go. Glory. Did you see it? And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. That's an instruction. Be filled with the Spirit. Okay, if he had stopped there, what's the punctuation mark you got there? What, what is it? Full stop? No. Are you sure? Yes. That means it's not true yet. So he's got something to tell you about being filled with the Spirit. If that being a full stop, we could have been left there to look for some other information somewhere about being filled with the Spirit, know what it's all about. But now, he goes on to tell us. Okay, let's take it carefully. Be filled with the Spirit. What's the punctuation there? A semicolon, right? Okay. Okay. So we read on. Be filled with the Spirit. What? Speaking. Write down number one. Speaking. Number one, what? Speaking. Okay, let's read on. Speaking what? Uh-huh. In Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, write it down. Singing. Number two. Number one, speaking. Number two, singing. Okay. Singing. Uh-huh. Making melody in your heart to the Lord. Uh-huh. Oh, giving thanks. All right, stop there. Number three, giving thanks. Write it down. So number one, speaking. Number two, singing. Number three, giving thanks. Okay, giving thanks, uh huh, always for all things unto the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, uh huh, submitting. Okay, write down submitting. Submitting. Submitting what? Yourselves unto one another. Okay, and then you keep reading and he goes on to tell you more about that submission till the end of that chapter. Beautiful. So we got some points here. Number one, speaking. He says, be filled with the Spirit, speaking, singing, giving thanks, submitting. These four things you have to do to be filled with the Spirit. Are you hearing me? These are four things to do to be filled with the Spirit. Notice it says, speaking to yourselves. A few translations get it wrongly. By putting it like though you're supposed to be talking to somebody else. They say, speaking to one another. No. He says, speaking to yourselves. That means I'm talking to me. You're talking to you. That's what he's talking about. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. The melody is in your heart. To who? God. Doesn't matter who likes it or who doesn't. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Imagine what that does to your spirit. Imagine what it does to your spirit. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Full of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Say those words. Don't say, I don't know what's happening to me. My life is just a mess. No, you will not be filled with the Spirit that way. And if you're crying, oh God, just fill me with the Spirit. You'll never be filled with the Spirit that way. Use God's words. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And by the way, sing the right hymns, not the wrong ones. <laughs> 